Guys, today's video is special. It's the first time we're doing something like this, so I want you to stick around until the end so you can actually see the reveal of the before and after. But more importantly, if you want to be part of this type of video in the future, make sure to stick around until the very end so you can find out how to get your name on the list. What's up, guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. We're currently on the way to my boy Ratner's place because today is the first episode of a new series we're starting where we're gonna do wardrobe overhauls with you guys. We're starting with my boy Ratner just to get used to the entire process. He's a tall, handsome guy. He just needs a little bit of help. He just left his job three months ago, has been on a sabbatical, and now he, we're getting into fall and we need to spruce up his wardrobe a little bit. So he lives right there. Let's go say hi to him. There he is. I almost couldn't see him. <laughs> hey, what's up, brother? How are you? Good. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Do you mind if we pop in? Come on in. Come on in. Need all the help I can get. <laughs> Here we are. All nice. right. <laughs> this is it. This, this is, is all of it. Where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> uh -huh. Right well, there. <laughs> I'm hoping for more magic, maybe. But sure. That's what you're here for. <laughs> Dope. The big Show reveal. me what you got. Big reveal. I got the skeletons out. So okay. this is, uh, I guess, the casual side, and then uh, this is kind of like the work. Oh, nice. Wear. All right. You so. have to separate it. I like that. Okay. Uh, like out of the shirts, how many shirts do you think you wear? Maybe four. Maybe this one. This one. If I iron it first. <laughs> uh, what does this say? White shirt. So it's white shirt. <laughs> I love that. Very meta. Out of the what? bag uh, creases. <laughs> Excellent. Whoops. <laughs> this is always happening. We don't, we don't like the college. We don't like the elbow, elbow patches. No. Come on. We don't, wait, 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 wait. It's got matching lapels. I know. That's what though. I saw. And that's why I was like, yeah, no. Just a, keep it a decade right. ago. Keep it in there. <laughs> keep it in there. Ooh. Oh, don't cobalt blue. Mm -hmm. Linen, no less. Linen. You got to wow. go strong. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Before we move on to casuals, actually, do you act, yeah, like you're going out on job interviews now? Like, yeah. Tell me a little bit about your industry, really quick. Sure. And does that really like? Do you need a suit still to go to an interview? It depends. Like, so I have to kind of be in both fields because I work as a product manager and mostly mm. in the tech field, but also in advertising. So right. I can go on more casual interviews well, where the they specifically are... say, "Don't be that guy yeah, in the suit." Yeah, yeah, right. And also ones where it's a little bit more buttoned up, like a bank or something like that. So okay. I kind of need to have you a little bit of everything. Okay. I really like this shirt. I've gotten. Some people like it. <laughs> you didn't realize it was this so one. This one, a lot of guys compliment me on. Uh-huh. I, I can wish, see why uh, a lot of guys compliment you. Yeah. On. Well, let's talk about you know, like we, we, we've thing. talked a little bit about your your professional situation. Let's talk about your romantic situation. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're we're in the bedroom available? already. How, oh, yeah. how close? <laughs> how detailed do we need to get here? <laughs> you're romantically available. I'm single. Yes. Okay. That's right. what I marked Ladies, on. Ladies, uh, take note. All the job apps. I mean, honestly, at the end of the day. I don't know if you've heard me say this. For me, fashion is like a way of self-expression. Like, it's supposed to make you feel good. If you fucking love the shirt or any of the things that I'm gonna like tell you, okay, I don't think they are for you, but you love them, that's still something where like, I'll take a step back and be like, absolutely. So, while we wanna keep in mind what the women might appreciate, if this is something you actually like and rock, then that's completely cool. I would maybe, something, like a way to tackle that would be maybe don't just wear the t-shirt. Throw like a denim shirt up top, like a clean denim shirt. So it's kind of just peeking out. It's still part of you, but you make it a little bit more subtle. Show me this. How fitted is that on a scale of one to ten? It's very fitted. Oh, it is. Okay, good. <laughs> I, I, I like on? the fitted. Let's I see. thought. It... Yeah, this is. I, I actually, I think of everything I wear, people tend to like this the most. I, yeah, and I don't know a, why, but because it's well fitted, and I think yeah. that's that's for like in most guys' closet. I feel like the thing that's most overlooked is fit. This is old. Which... This is. Uh, I probably have have had this for seven, eight years. Yeah, so I think as we go into the fall, like a light nylon fabric, similar to that fit, similar style, it's gonna keep you like a little bit more water resistant, a little bit more season appropriate, and a little bit updated, considering Perfect. that this is like seven, eight years That's like old now. That's like quadruple factor. This is my favorite shirt that I own, by far. Okay. The talking hours. I bought it twice, that's how much I loved it. I want to invest in a few more solids, so like building out, I think what I don't see a whole lot is color. You play a little bit with blues. If anything, you go for the tealish blue, which teal is actually pretty hard to rock. Yeah. So I want to go more into the navy and maybe some earth tones okay. for you, but try and create like a nice base for you to play with and uh, get a few essentials. The last thing I need you to walk me through is bottoms. Your favorite pair you have on right now. These are the slept in, always wear jeans. Yes, for what, sure. They're from? They are Levi's. And you know what fit? Uh, 
511. 511, okay. So, yeah, yeah, all right. This is so the part you've been waiting for. Down here, you have like a lot of extra room. Would you feel comfortable if you slimmed that down a little? Like, I, guess, that? I guess I'd have to find out. I thought you these were painted on. This is painted on. Oh, today. yeah, no, they are for the thigh, <laughs> that's true. But like down here, I think okay. we, could, we could go a little bit more slim. That works. You know, to highlight the Birkenstocks, the beautiful Birkenstocks. I have the same ones. I mean, you're making me so proud. <laughs> Germ German pair of sandals on your feet. <laughs> and then you have a couple more. I think these, you said, don't fit quite the same. I mean, they don't fit as well, but I and I, I mean, I don't know what shade of jean we're on in this year. What is it? 20, so for the 19? fall, it's what's trending <laughs> is like a lighter jean, which usually will go darker. I think I'd want to get you a, a pair of raw denim jeans, so something darker. Okay. All right. Lastly, we have a pair of camos here, which. <laughs> These were amazing. They've been around in the closet for quite a while, so I thought they were great. I, I don't really wear them because they're camo. A little, little strong Let's print find, at this point. Let's uh, find you a pair of casual pants that aren't jeans. This is the best fit of pair of pants I've ever, I've ever. That bought. are from Levi's. Also Levi's. Let's but stop by Levi's and let's see what we can find you. Discontinued. Discontinued. It's well, the only jean. They make five elevens for 150 <laughs> years, and then they have to discontinue the one that fits me. I'm thinking the camo and the. That actually I don't dislike, but neither <laughs> like the combo is right. Just neither of those things individually. So together, also not really. <laughs> okay, then let's let's, let's step away from that then. I see this. Oh yeah, that's that's the one that everyone loves to hate. <laughs> I love it. I'm fine with it. Well, we're moving into fall, so maybe we'll find a fedora for you. I think. Because I don't dislike it. And with this, I like it. The last time I saw him wear this hat, he was wearing a shirt that was way too loud for a hat that loud. I think I had a bandana around my neck as well. He was going all out. But now we're going out, and we're going to find you some clothes. Sounds good? Perfect. Right, let's go. <laughs> First stop, H&M. And I talked to them, so you actually get to pick out a few pieces. Excellent. Just for free. That's even better. <laughs> Um, this is the new store. I don't know if you've been in here since they renovated it on Broadway. Um, absolutely beautiful now, and this is the men's floor. Voila. Should we do a little walkthrough? Might have to do a Just lot of walkthroughs. There's a lot, lot of stuff in here. <laughs> We're done shopping and it was actually, at first, I'm looking at Radnor already, he's off frame right now. At first it was a little bit tough to get him warmed up, but then I realized that he just likes a few standout pieces that then I want him to dress down a little bit to really make the outfit work. So before we have him pop into the frame, I want to walk you through 20 pieces, 18 that are on the rack right now because two of them are on Radnor and kind of talk about why we chose what we chose. Let's start with button downs first and foremost. I think I wanted to get him a suit, but a suit is just not necessarily what you need in the workplace or in personal life all that much anymore. So I wanted to focus on something that's a little bit more casual, but still has like a more dressy aesthetic that he can wear to the office. This he picked out himself as a flannel in navy and orange with a cream base, which I really like. Definitely a lot more on the casual side. Then we've got this red corduroy shirt that I really, really love. I have this in a cream color. The red is a standout piece. So the red is definitely great for him, but you've got to tone that down. Sticking with the red, this time a little bit darker in a Bordeaux. We've got a nice plaid shirt. That's actually a button down. I personally really like this as well. It's really preppy, but still casual. And lastly, arguably the most versatile shirt in the mix is this light colored denim shirt. All of them are from Uniqlo. I think Uniqlo really nailed that fit when it comes to casual shirts. And this I have in my closet as well. Looks fantastic and is honestly endlessly combined with whatever else is on the rack right now. 
Since I was just talking about suits and not wearing them, let's talk about a couple of the alternatives that we integrated into his closet, and that's these two blazers right up here. This one definitely a little bit more on the traditional side, a little bit more on the preppy side, the more well-fitted side. Well, this one's a little bit more contemporary, it's a little bit more fashion forward in that it's a knitted fabric, it's a little bit looser, it fits a lot more casually, so something like a t-shirt with raw denim jeans, still a clean look, but definitely a little bit more relaxed. While we're on the topic of outerwear, let's talk about this casual jacket. I really, really like this jacket. As simple as it is, I feel like it's hard to find a really good one that fits just perfectly and this one checks off that box. On the other hand, we have what he selected himself in the store, another jacket that I've already added to my closet, this trucker knit jacket and a really interesting color combination. It's a plaid. It's definitely a loud piece. Once again, the simple advice is just tone it down to make that work easily. And last but not least, you guys saw in the beginning of the video a bomber, a college jacket that was, uh, what did you say, how long uh, How long have you had that in your wardrobe? Seven uh, years or something? I think it's <laughs> probably closer to 10. <laughs> At nine years, so we decided, I decided, we should get a little update for that. And he really liked this when we walked into the H&M store on Broadway. A really nice beige color, definitely a little bit more refined, less sporty and more on the elegant side. So you could actually wear this with a button-down shirt if you chose to. Before we move on to the lower half of the body, let's talk about knitwear. And knitwear both includes sweaters as well as some t-shirts that are our base layer for the outfit. Starting with a turtleneck. Now a turtleneck, I know, can be a little bit of a polarizer. Some guys love them, some guys feel like they can't wear them. Radnor, I believe, has never really had a turtleneck, but I decided to force him a little bit, and I think you're embracing it. Um, so we've got this cream color, and we've got this Bordeaux right here. Both of them are from H&M, and I think if you're keeping it fairly simple with the colors, this is a little bit of a statement, but still easily combined because it's very much subdued. And then as statement pieces, for these two sweaters, we got one teal colored green sweater. This is from Uniqlo. And this one's from H&M, a simple black sweater which can easily replace your t-shirts once it gets a little bit colder outside. Also a great mid layer and in the days where it's not too cold yet can be a great top layer as well. As for t-shirts, we kept it really simple with a black t-shirt and a white long sleeve t-shirt or a short sleeve t-shirt. So you have a little room to adapt to the temperatures and can play also with the long sleeves of this. If you wanted to peek out at the end of your sleeve or roll it up a little bit and then just have the white peek out a tiny bit to make that look a little bit more interesting. On the lower half, we've got three options for bottoms. Number one I'm holding in my right hand and that is a casual jean. This is the 512 fit from Levi's so it's slim but tapered fit. In my left hand I'm holding a pair of Club Monaco raw denim jeans. These are the ones that I have in my closet as well. I keep recommending them to you guys because I absolutely love them. I think it's a great value and these represent the more dapper side of the closet while these are a little bit more on the casual side. And now Radner it's time for you to step into the frame. Pants number three. The black corduroy, which I absolutely love on you. How do you feel in them? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. Do you want to tell me what you're wearing on top? Uh, a Levi's jacket that uh -huh. we picked out. Yeah, how do you like that? I like it a lot, but oh. obviously. What are you wearing underneath? I mean, was I even supposed to bring it? Yeah, but you're all right. My favorite band t-shirt. That seems to be working a little bit better. Yeah, remember I, I, hate from to, the... I hate to admit it. Yeah, see? Well, why, why do you hate to admit it? You still get to wear it, and now he's rocking it a little bit more. Like I said, I, I, wanna, I don't want to ever take away what like somebody loves about fashion. So if you love this, you said this is your favorite t-shirt, right? It is. See, all you gotta do is play with the black, keep it monochromatic, pick the white back up with a pair of clean sneakers, which we'll talk about in a second, and then top it up with a denim jacket, and you can still wear your t-shirt. All right, I wanna put these away really quick, and then let's talk about what you've got on your feet. Of course, I'm gonna put them in a pair of Ankari Flores, not only sneakers, like you're wearing right now, white clean sneakers, which aren't as much of a statement, but are just incredibly versatile. They go with literally anything and everything on here with all three bottoms that we've got for you, with the raw denim jeans, the casual jeans, and with the cords. And we got a pair of these Splito suede espresso boots, which are my favorites. A lot of you love them, and you, it, they weren't your first choice. I kind of like forced you. I mean, they're growing on me the more I see them, so yeah. we'll, we'll see how it goes. And on you as well. Yeah. So what I would like to do now is show you off in nine different outfits that is just, just nine of the many, many different outfits that you can put together with this. And that is only with a total of 20 pieces, 22 if you count the shoes, and then 23 if you count as a t-shirt. Each shoe, one more piece, or? No, it's just, I think it's per pair. Okay. <laughs> Let's roll it, three, <laughs> two, one.
I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed all of this. You excited to be switching up your wardrobe a little bit? I am. This is gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting. I, I'm gonna watch you on Instagram. You better show me that you can put a few of these outfits. Together. <laughs> There's a lot of combinations. We'll see. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much for doing this. I Ooh, it. that was great. That was a good one. <laughs> um, I want to talk to these guys really quick, but I will see you this weekend. You better, you better put, you better put a good outfit on. <laughs> Now guys, if you want to be in Ratner's shoes and be part of one of these types of videos, I'm going to need a few things from you. Number one, I need your name and where you live, either in New York or LA, because for right now we're going to have to keep this local. Second, I would like to know your motivation, why you need a wardrobe overhaul. Are you going to go on a job interview? Are you starting a new year in school? Are you trying to get a date with a girl? I want to know your motivation, so give me a little bit of a story here. The last thing I'll need is a little bit of a budget and where you already shop so I know where you're at. Please send all of that information to the email address down below in the description. I'll be starting a list, I'll kind of review all of the submissions and then for the next video we'll be hitting one of you guys up to take part in this. So thank you guys so so much for watching today. I'm looking forward to reading your submissions, comments, thumbs up, hopefully, I think. And make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more of these videos or other videos that are coming up very soon. Thank you. I'll see you very soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper.